This is Mrs. Zappia with the answer key for Module 4 Practice Test, Lessons 1 through 11. Number 1, find 20% of 60. So we start with the original equation of quantity equals percent times whole. <clears throat> Identify the important parts of the equation. 20% is the given percent, and of 60 is the whole. We are finding the quantity. So we substitute 0.2 for the percent, we substitute 60 for the whole, and we solve to find the part. And the answer is 12. Number 2. 20 is 30% of what number? Solve by identifying the important parts. So we have 30% is your percent. 20 is, is the quantity of what number is the whole. So we substitute 20 for the quantity, 0.3 for the percent, and the variable for the whole. Divide both sides of the equation by 0.3 to solve the problem. And W is equal to 66 and 2 thirds. 20 is 30% of 66 and 2 thirds. Number 3. What percent of 8 is 2? In this case, we are looking for the percent. Of 8 is the whole, is 2 is the quantity. So we substitute the values, we'll use C for percent, and we multiply by the whole, which is 8. To solve that, Divide both sides of your equation by 8. So C is equal to 1 fourth or 0.25. 2 is 25% of 8. 1 fourth is equal to 25%. Remember to convert your answer by um, changing it to a decimal. So C is equal to 1 fourth is 0.25 times 100 is 25 percent. Number four, you make 14 out of 20 shots. So this is your whole and this is your quantity. What is your percent? That's what we're looking for. So we'll use C for percent. We had 14 out of 20. To solve your equation, divide by the whole. C is equal to 0.7. Convert that to a percent, and C is equal to 70%. 14 out of 20 is 70%. A TV is regularly priced at $200, is on sale for 15% off. Find the price of the item after the discount. So we start with our equation, quantity equals percent times whole. Remember in this one, when there is a discount, to subtract it from 100%. So our price is what we're looking for. Our percent is going to be 100% minus 15%. And our whole is the original price of $200. This gives us 85%. And we can go ahead and write that as a decimal. And we're going to multiply that by 200 which is the original price. So go ahead and calculate your answer and you should get 170. The sale price is $170. Number six, Jordan's, Jordan's shoes are on sale with a 40% discount. What Jordan shoes regularly sell for $65? So again, we're looking for the sale price. The sale price is the quantity. The percent needs to be subtracted from 100 because we are going to save that. So 100% minus 40%. Multiply that by the regular price of $65. So we have to pay 60% of the shoes, and that is 0.6 or 0.60. Multiply that by the regular price to get the sale price. And when you do the math, you should get $39. The sale price is $39. Number seven, find the total price of the item, including sales tax. 
so our soccer goal is $150 and the sales tax is 7%. The total price is going to be the quantity and that's what we're looking for. The percent needs to be added to 100. 100% 100 means you're paying 100% of the item plus the 7% sales tax. And you multiply that by the whole, which is the cost of the item. So 107% plus 7% plus is 107%, and the decimal is 1.07. Multiply that by the cost of the item to find your answer. And the answer is 160.5. So since this is a money problem, remember to answer in dollar and cents. $160.50 is the total price. Number eight, find the total price of the item after the discount, including the sales tax. We're looking for the final price. The percent, we are going to have a couple of percents for this one. One is going to be deducting the discount. So we have 100% minus the discount of 10%. Multiply that by the cost of the item. And that tells you what the sale price is. We also want to find out what the tax is. And tax is added to 100%. So we'll add that to 100%. So this is going to give us 90%, which is 0.9. The cost of the item is $120. And the tax is 105%, which is 1.05. Go ahead and multiply those to get your answer. And your total is 113.4. Again, since this is a money problem, make sure that you answer in dollars and cents. The selling price is $113.40. Number nine. Walmart bought a pillow for $5 each. They want to sell the pillow for a 45% markup. The quantity is the selling price. The percent is a markup, so we need to add that to 100%. And you multiply it by the original cost of the pillow, which is $5. So the percent is 145%. Write that as a decimal and multiply it by the cost of the item. And that gives us 7.25. Interpreting your answer, the pillow will sell for $7.25 after it has been marked up 45%. Number 10, find the commission on a $15,000 sale with a commission rate of 5%. The commission is the quantity, the percent is the rate, and the whole is the sales. That was from lesson 11. So the commission is what we're looking for. The rate is 5%, which is 0.05, and the sales is 15000 So perhaps a salesman sold a new car. Go ahead and calculate your answer. You get 750 Interpreting your answer, the commission is $750. Number 11. A sales agent earns a weekly salary of $750, plus a commission of 5% on all sales. His sales this week are $2,000. How much did he earn this week? The quantity is the commission. The percent is the rate. And we'll write that as a decimal, 0 0.05. And W is the sales, which is 2000 So go ahead and calculate your answer. I got 100 and interpret your answer. The sales agent earned $850. Number 12. You put uh, $1,250 in a savings account. The account earns 3% simple interest per year. What is the interest after five years? So our time is five years. Our interest rate is 0.03. The principal is the amount you put in the bank, $1,250. The interest is what you're looking for. Once you've identified all the parts of the problem, substitute the values for the variables. The interest is what we're looking for. 
the principal is 1250. Multiply that by the rate of 0 0.03 times the years, which is 5. The interest earned is $187.50. Number 14. How long does it take to account How long does it take an account with a principal of $1,600 to earn $400 in interest at an annual interest rate of 5%? Identify all of the parts. The principal is 1600. We want to earn $400 in interest. The interest rate is 5%. 0 0.05. How long does it take? That's what we're trying to find out. So substitute the values for the variables. 400 for the interest, 1600 for the principal, times the rate of 0 0.05 times time. Simplify 1600 times 0 0.05, and that gives you 80. Bring down the T and the 400. Solve your equation by dividing by 80. Interpreting your answer, it will take five years. Number 15, find the interest earned on an investment of $2,500 for six months with a simple interest rate of 2%. Now you wanna be careful on this one because the interest rate is yearly and the time is monthly. So you need to convert your months to years so that they are consistent. So we have an investment of 2,500, that's our principal, which goes down here. Six months is what fraction of a year? Six out of 12, so one half. And the time is, whoops, that was the time getting ahead of myself here. The time is half a year. The interest rate is 2%, 0, 2%, 0.02, 0 0.02. So this is a good example of how I just started writing the numbers down and wasn't very careful about identifying which number goes with which variable. So slow down and take your time and make sure you match them up correctly. Then find the interest earned. That's what we're looking for. Substitute your values. I'm going to keep the I for interest. 2,500 is the principal. The rate is 0.02 and the time is one half. So all you have to do is simplify to solve this problem. 25 is the answer. Interpret your answer. $25 is the interest earned. Number 16. Abbott's attendance last year was 400 students. This year it is 250. Find the percent change. So the quantity is the portion that it has changed by. So the quantity represents the difference. And the percent is what we're looking for. And the whole is the original amount. It was 400 students. So the difference is what it was compared to what it is now. The percent is what we're looking for and the original amount is 400. I want you to notice that once you do this subtraction of 400 minus 250 that both numbers are not in the equation. We have 400 students and 250 students. And in our equation of quantity equals percent times whole, the quantity is the difference between the two numbers. Go ahead and solve the problem by dividing by 400. That will give you your decimal. The decimal is 0.375. Remember, they're asking for a percent change. So multiply that by 100, and the percent will be 37.5. Interpret your answer. Attendance was a 37.5% decrease. Number 19, John estimated that there were about 130 marbles. So 130 marbles is the estimate. When you're doing a percent error problem, it's important that you distinguish between the estimate and the actual amount. There are actually 155 marbles. What was his percent error? 
When you find the percent error, your numerator is the difference between the estimated amount and the actual amount. And the denominator is the actual amount. And then you multiply that by 100 to convert it to a percent. So our percent error is the estimated amount of 130 minus 155. And we want the absolute value of that difference divided by the actual amount. Notice that you have the actual amount in the equation twice. Then you multiply that number by 100 in order to convert it to a percent. So our difference is 25. And 25 over 155 times 100. And you will get a, um, a decimal. Let's round that to the nearest tenth of a percent. So we get point, whoops, we multiplied it by 100 already. So our answer is 16.1%. Interpret your answer. It is a 16.1% error. That's a pretty big error. Okay, double discounts. The item goes on sale for 30% off. When it is marked down an additional 20% off the sale, what is the final price of the item? So you want to keep in mind when there's a double discount that you will do this percent part twice. So our equation is the quantity equals the first discount times the second discount times the original price. So let's go ahead and figure our numbers. 30% off is the first discount and 20% off is the second discount. Now notice that the final price was not given here. I believe in class we decided on an $80 item. So this was the original price. All right, so let's use P for price. We have 100% minus the first discount of 30% times 100% minus the second discount of 20% times the original price of $80. So this equals 70%, which is 0.7. Then the second discount is 80%, which is 0.80. And the original cost was $80. So this means when you pay your, um, when you pay for the item, you're paying 0.7 of the original cost after you take the first discount. And then for your second discount, you're saying you're paying 0.8 of this amount. And then the original amount was $80. So go ahead and calculate your answer. The answer is 44.8. And interpret your answer. The price is $44.80. And that concludes our review for this test.